Let's say your business uses Zoho Books to record its financial data. There are a few bills that your company has to bear every month. For example, you receive a monthly bill for the electricity used in your office. Instead of manually recording this bill each month, you can schedule it to be generated automatically every month using recurring bills in Zoho Books. In this video, we will cover the following topics. Let's get started. To enable recurring bills in your organization, log in to Zoho Books. Go to Settings and select General under Preferences. Mark the box Recurring Bills under Select the modules you would like to enable. And click Save. Now, let's create a recurring bill. Go to the Purchases module and click the plus icon next to the recurring bills. Select the vendor from the drop-down. Enter the profile name. Select the frequency you want this bill to repeat. Select the start date and the end date. If your bill is expected to continue over an undefined period, you can check the option Never Expires. Select the payment terms from the drop-down. Add the details under the item table. If you're incurring this bill for your customer, you will be able to associate them as well. Add notes if any. Then click Save. You have created a recurring bill. If you're migrating from some other software to Zoho Books, you can import your recurring bills instead of creating a new recurring bill manually each time. To import recurring bills, go to the recurring bills module and click the more icon here. Select import recurring bills. Choose the file you want to import. Please note that you can import your file only in CSV, TSV or XLS format. You can also download a sample file for your reference. Select the character encoding based on your import file. By default, UTF-8 Unicode is selected. Select the file delimiter. Then click Next. You will be directed to the Map Fields page where you will have to map fields from Zoho Books to the fields present inside your file. The data format here is selected by default. You can click Edit here to modify them. Here, the field names of Zoho Books are listed on the left side and the field names in the import file are listed on the right side. Match the field names and check this box if you wish to use the same mapping of fields during future imports. Then click Next. You will be directed to the preview page where the number of recurring bills to be imported, skipped and unmapped fields will be listed. In case of any error in the file, you can view the reasons under the skipped records here and can also download them. Based on the reasons, you can correct the records and re-import the file. Then click Import. Now the recurring bills in the import file will be imported into the recurring bills module of Zoho Books. Let's look at some of the other actions that can be performed in recurring bills. If you want to export all your recurring bills, click the more icon here, select export recurring bills. On clicking a recurring bill, you can see an overview of the bill details, keep track of the history of activities that happen around the bill under recent activities, and view all the next bill date under next bill. You can also create a bill for this recurring bill and on clicking the more button, you can also choose to stop the recurring bill or delete it. On selecting all the recurring bills, you can bulk update the fields with new information, resume, stop and delete them all at once. Additionally, you can filter, sort and customize columns. And that's a wrap for our video. Thanks for watching.